So but I know that some of you are going through a lot of shit. I'm not here to even try to pretend that I could relate to a lot of shit that you guys are going through. Shit, I've gone through a lot of shit in my life too. Last June, this June, this last month was a whole breakthrough month for me in every single area. In my health, with my family, with my kids, with my business, we continue to hire, hire more people. Shit, I went through in just 30 days, I grown like what I feel like more like three years. But every single fucking day that I felt like, fuck God, like, what do you want from me? You continue to punch me in the face. You continue to, to give me pain. What do you want from me? I heard the same fucking voice saying, stop asking and continue to push through. You can only see as far as you can see. You can't see farther because you don't have the vision. You lack the vision and you lack the worthiness. You have to feel that you're worthy of even your challenges. Learn how to embrace your challenges. Learn how to feel worthy even with the shit that you're going through. Because the moment you realize that you're blessed, that you are alive, you're blessed, that if you're here, you're blessed, if you're hearing this message, you're blessed, then everything else becomes a bonus. Everything else becomes a game. If you want to win the game in life, you have to let go of the past. You have to let go of the shit that you could have, should have, but didn't. You have to stop focusing on the score because the score doesn't fucking matter unless it's giving you feedback for you to fucking grow. What do you get if you actually succeed and you get all the money that you want or the business that you want if you end up not liking who you've become in the process? What do you get if you actually get a perfect score here in this app if you're not pushing yourself to grow? What do you get if you have all the things that you ever wanted and when, when at the end of the day you're not happy and fulfilled? Is the process and the journey that fucking matters. The score is only feedback of the shit that you're doing that's going to get you there. The score is a reflection of your habits, of your choices, and the things that you're willing to do or not willing to do. And the moment that you have a vision that's pulling you every single day, a vision that's pulling you to 2020, a vision that you want to create, a vision that you're willing to do whatever it takes, a vision that you're willing to fucking die for. Because that's what's going to take for you to build a kingdom. A vision that you're going to take no for an answer. That you're not going to take no for an answer. You're going to do whatever it takes for you to see that vision through. And whatever is holding you back, you find the strength to push through. The voice in your head that's telling you that you don't have enough, that you're not enough to push through. The voice in your head that tells you that you're wrong and, and you shouldn't do this, to push through. The voice in your head that's telling you that it's okay to be comfortable, it's okay for you to play low, it's okay for you to do this shit. You push through and you fight your way through so you can find that vision because it's pulling you. Now you're not gonna be able to do it unless you believe that you're worthy of it. And what anchors me is when I see my kids, when I see my family, even when I see your kids, I was in a phone with a guy that has a, a 15 year old daughter that hasn't seen in almost a decade. He goes, Raul, I got divorced and my wife took my daughter away from me and I haven't even looked for them. I haven't made an effort. I said, how did you handle it? He goes, I just pushed it down. So in, in that 30 minute conversation, that man was crying in the phone because I tapped into that pain because all he did, it just pushed the pain down, pushed the pain down and pushed the pain down. I said, understand one thing, you girl, Every single night is looking for an answer why my dad is not here with me. And you owe it to her to express that love that you have. And that pain that you're feeling right now, we could use it as fuel to be able to fulfill the purpose that you have, which is to love to the fullest, to build your capacity to rise your level of consciousness so you can find out who the fuck you are. And the guy was in tears on the phone and at the end we hung up and he still couldn't make the commitment because at the end he was so used to masking the pain that sometimes that becomes a reality. So hopefully he'll make a decision when it's not too late. At the end of that call, I felt drained out of energy. 
because I felt his pain and I was, all I could think about was that little girl that has been going through life thinking that she's not good enough for a father. I'm sharing this with you because I want you to understand that I'm not here just for you. I'm not here just to help a bunch of guys fucking go to the next level. I'm here because I'm investing in the next generation. My son and my daughter are going to live in this world. And I want this world to be around men who are making a fucking difference. I want them to be around men like you. Who have a vision that pulls you every single fucking day. To have the discipline that is pushing every single fucking day to make shit happen. And know that we're creating progress every single day. We're not looking to be perfect because we are far from perfect. But my promise to you is that every single day I'm going to push through. Even if I don't feel like it. Even if I, that voice says I don't have what it takes. Because that's my commitment to you and this brotherhood and to my family. And to the vision that I have of seeing men level up to the highest potential. And that's what I need every single one of you. To see yourselves in that position of leadership. Because if you are around this brotherhood, if you're here, it's not just because you're a client or not just because you're paying or not just because, you know, we, we want to have a bunch of guys here just talking. It's because I've been called to lead motherfuckers like you out of the darkness into the light so we could go out there and lead others from the darkness into the light. And that's what I want to roll with. Men who are committed to the next level. And they're not just talking about it. But are playing the game every single fucking day. Playing the game to win. And they know that they're becoming a higher version of themselves every day. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And if you're ready to lead with power, go to the link in the description and sign up for the Next Level Leadership Summit, where proximity meets power. The storm is coming. Everybody saw it in the horizon.